Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Well, I was getting ready to put this back together and I was like, you know what? I think I'll just uh, uh, show people how to put it together. Uh, the, the ceramic igniter and the porcelain burn pot. I know I've done videos on this before. But uh, I, I don't think I've done it with using the two springs. And these, uh, these two springs are different than the, uh, the single spring I had around it. And if I remember while I'm editing, I'll put a picture of what it used to look like. And we had to use a heat shield. With the two spring solution, you don't need the heat shield. So uh, I like that. It seems to be nicer with the, uh, with the GFCI. I haven't had hardly any complaints about GFCI's tripping. I need to find a manufacturer that makes a spring like this. Um, right now, I, we have to make our own. So <laughs> that's why they look a, a bit how you're doing, but they work really well. If you need a replacement spring, just uh, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to pop one in the mail for you. So anyway, um, when you go to install the ceramic igniter, these things are these things are durable. It's not like unlike steel, and they're not going to rust. But they're, it's also ceramic, like your toilet, and so you don't want to be banging on it, or you're going to chip it. And if you chip the ceramic, I guarantee it will burn out. And you'll, it'll be just a pop. You'll hear a pop, and it's gone. <laughs> so, uh, when I install and ship these things, I use, I get this, this is just a paper towel out of the dispenser in the bathroom. Right? And uh, no, it's, I don't get them out of the bathroom <laughs> when I ship them. But uh, it's just the similar kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I just cut something that's about yay wide, just to protect the ceramic. And uh don't usually need this much. Hopefully I don't get out of focus here. Sorry, I'm I'm not looking through the camera to do this. I, I try to look through the camera, but sometimes it's not that easy. Um oh anyway, so um see if you can see. I'm doing here so I just kind of roll this thing up like that and I stick it in Oops. stick it inside the burn pot like so Oop. there we go and then I just okay now getting these springs on can be a little tricky you just kind of well not really it's not really that hard to be, to be honest with you. Uh, you do have to have a pretty good uh, strong pair of pliers. This spring is is pretty tough. And uh, let's see if I can do this. There we go. If I can do this while so everyone can watch while I'm doing it. Let's kind of bring it up. Up and clip it like that. There. That's one side. Yeah, they have to be pretty strong. You want to make sure this igniter stays in there. And it's a kind of a redundancy too. If one breaks, you still have the other one. It's it's kind of a win-win with the two spring solution. So I, I, I really like it. Um I just wish I could find a manufacturer that that sold them exactly the way I need. I've I have found several. Um springs and I've tested several springs but <laughs> I haven't found any that works as good as as the ones we make so um so yeah we're still still using the ones we make so you just bring that down here there you go and I hope everyone got to see that. But yeah, so this is this is a much better solution. The other one was one big spring. It kind of went around. It had that heat shield on it. And as you'll notice, these these are these uh, these are a newer model igniter. If you still have some that have the black heat shrink right there, I had them uh, change it to um, fiberglass. 
and I also went to the two spring method, which helped. I, I think what was happening, even though we had that heat shield, I, I think I think the uh, the spring was so close to these terminals right here, it was just enough um, AC coupling into the ground, right? These are you know, connected to ground because the burn pot's grounded. There's just enough AC coupling uh, going into the spring and back into the ground to trip some GFCIs. It was kind of a problem, right? Anyway, that's how you install it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget, you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.